W YouTube, this is Neil again. Now today we are going to change the power steering hose. Last night I was coming back uh, from work and then it just busted out of nowhere. So I just opened up, had a look, this thing pops out sometimes and falls down. And as it was screeching against the belt, it just killed the hose. So we will be replacing this hose only because this is the only one scratch, only one uh, uh, with a leak. Okay, now there are two hoses. If you're having similar sort of issue, be careful which one you're gonna buy. Because I accidentally went to Repco and bought a wrong one. I bought this one, but you don't need that one. Right now you need this one. So this is uh, three slash eight. Um, the guys said they don't sell. Um, I won't be able to get it anyway. Up Apart from Holden, so I got a custom sort of a thing. There you go. That's what I got. So I'm gonna use whatever I'm gonna use, and then I'll cut it off, rest of it, and then uh, we'll take it from there. Let's do it. So now, what do you need for it? Before you start doing something, you make sure you have a blade. To cut the hose, two clampers to put them back on, and a Philippe screwdriver. Let's do it. So first, we're gonna. I already, I already unscrewed it from down there, so I'm gonna just pop it. Yeah, this hand out. Yeah, and this is out. Now I gotta do the other end too. This is a little hard, so it will take me some physical work. As soon as I get it done, I'll put, put the new hose on and then I'll get back to you. Well, after a bit of a struggle, I got it on. Uh, right here, as you see. Um, now, we got to put the bottom part right into here. Okay? Now, you might have issues putting it on because obviously it's very hard and then um, it will be very hard to put it onto it. So the best way to do it is I did hot, I did uh, uh, use some hot water. I made it extremely hot and then uh, I put a hose into it for about 30 seconds. And then I just quickly gave it a quick wipe and put it on. So it was nice and easy. Now putting down there shouldn't be as hard as we think. Might be. There you go, it's all the way down. We just put the clamps on now, uh, make it nice and tight so it doesn't leak. Um, yeah, and before you start putting it on, make sure the clamps are in there. Otherwise, there's not a way you can put them on later on. So, yeah, that's about it for now. I'll quickly uh, um, tighten them up and I'll get back to you. Ciao. Now the hose is done. I tied it up down there, tied it up here. Okay, now there's no obviously there's no fluids in it because it just it was leaking and it just ran out. You can see down there it's all wet. Okay, now what you need to do? Make sure you top it up with decent oil. I'm using just shell power steering fluid, power steering fluid. Okay, now in order to top it up, you need to start the car first. So start it up. Right, a few times. 
this sort of fuel is in there all over the place and take it for a decent drive uh, a few hours and uh, it should be all good now that's about it for now if you've got any issues any questions about anything to do with Commodore let me know I'll try to help you out thanks have a nice day